Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing an active wear try on at Target. When I uploaded my last try on video, which was about a month or so ago, I had some requests to do an affordable active wear try on video. So I headed to Target the other day. I tried on some clothes in the dressing room. For the most part, most of them are active wear. I did try on a couple of pieces that were just kind of casual wear. And um, yeah, so I brought the camera in with me. I'm going to show you guys how things fit, kind of tell you my impression of the pieces that I tried on. I was pretty disappointed last night when I was getting online to look up all the items that I tried on, I found that most of what I tried on is not even available on their website. So frustrating. I actually find that happens a lot at Target. When I purchase things in my store, when I go online to see if it's available, it, there's I feel like half the time it is and half the time it is not. However, I decided I still wanted to upload this video because I did discover a pretty cute new brand to Target called Joy Lab. Most of the pieces that I tried on are by Joy Lab. Really, really cute active wear. Um, I think it's new to Target. I hadn't really seen it before. I hadn't really shopped active wear at Target in a while, but um, it was new to me. And when I went on the website, it's promoted like it's a new brand. So um, I'm still going to share with you what I tried on, whether it's available or not. I will link similar items down in the description box below, uh, just to give you an idea of fit and quality and all of that good stuff. Before we get started, I want to mention that if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Uh, that way you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Also, click that bell notification so that you're notified every time I upload a video. Um, for some reason, YouTube doesn't always notify you of the channels you're subscribed to when they upload new videos. So make sure you click that button so that you're always notified. Um, all right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. So I do want to mention that you'll notice I'm actually in two different dressing rooms during this try on. Um, I grabbed like 20 pieces and I went into the largest dressing room and I was in there for a while because you know it takes me a while to film everything and take pictures and I could hear a woman outside saying that she had a stroller and she was just going to wait for my dressing room to open up. So I went ahead and cleared my stuff out real quick and went into a smaller dressing room for her. So if you're wondering why I'm in one dressing room in some of these shots and then a smaller in the other, that is why. So this first outfit I really, really loved. I actually ended up purchasing this moto jacket. It's by Joy Lab, and I really like how stretchy and thick the material is. It feels like really, really great quality. It's perfect to throw over your clothes for the gym, but it's also chic enough to where you could wear it with like skinny jeans and booties, I feel like. Um, so it's a really versatile piece. I think it was about $45 or $50. The leggings are also by Joy Lab, and I couldn't find these online, which I was disappointed about. I really like the way these leggings look. However, they were really see-through and I should say that I did put on a size extra small and I can tell you that I definitely had no business being in an extra small they didn't have a small so I tried to squeeze into these and maybe I just were stretching that poor fabric too tight but I could see clearly see my underwear in the mirror behind me so um, if you do purchase these just make sure you do a double check to make sure they're not see-through but I did like how it had this side pocket on the leg um, it had like this cool little like snake skin print. This one I did not find online, but I will link a similar style by Joy Lab down below. This next outfit I really liked. These moto leggings came in black and then this army green. They retail for $39.99. So a little pricey for Target, but definitely still very affordable when you look at like premium quality active wear leggings. I really like the way these fit. I did try a small on in these and they seem to fit really, really well. Uh, the top that I'm wearing is also by Joy Lab and it's just this black tank, but in the back it has this cool little feature where it's kind of twisted in the back. It was kind of confusing for me to figure out how to put it on and then I realized that that's it's just the way that it's designed. This top I could not find online, which I was actually kind of surprised because it seems like a pretty basic tank that they would keep in the line consistently, but I couldn't find that. So I'm going to link something similar to it. Maybe it's one of those pieces that they have in stock and out of stock at certain times, but I also tried it on in another color that you'll see later on in the video. But these leggings were really nice. They were thick. They felt really high quality. They were not sheer, not see-through. They offered really great coverage. And I felt like they were really flattering on my body type as well. They have a quick dry technology so that your leggings don't sit on your body feeling sweaty or gross. It really absorbs that moisture. It had a thick waistband, which is always flattering. It's something that I always look for. And the quality just felt really nice, premium, and thick. Okay, so this next outfit, I'm actually kind of laughing because I think I look a little silly in this. I really wanted to show you the sports bra in it, this clip, but I just felt a little uncomfortable just being in a bra on camera, so I put the jacket on on top of it because I still wanted to show you the sports bra, but I wanted to have a little bit more coverage. So this sports bra is a really high shine sports bra. It's by Joy Lab also. It retails for about 20 bucks. 
I think this is a great piece if you are someone that rocks just a sports bra and leggings. It's really cute. It has this like ladder back detail. Uh, it offers a lot of coverage up top so you don't have a lot of cleavage or anything like that showing. Uh, I really liked it. I don't know. I always wear a tank and a shirt over my sports bras when I work out so I don't really wear super cute sports bras. I don't really look for that. I just want something really comfortable. But if you are someone that rocks a sports bra and leggings so low then this would be a really cute top for you. So the leggings are also a foiled shine kind of metallic effect. They have a high waist. These are 7 8 so the length was pretty good on me. They weren't too long, uh, but they weren't capris or they didn't cut off at the ankle. I actually really wanted to purchase these, but they didn't have my size. I squeezed into a size extra small for this video, but I really should have grabbed a small. I went and looked, but they didn't have my size in stock. Otherwise, I totally would have purchased it. I really liked the way these looked and felt, and they were flattering, and they had a high waist, so it kind of checked all my boxes for me. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention. Those leggings do have a hidden key pocket as well. So these leggings were a standout pair for me. I love the way that they felt. They were so comfortable. I love the thick fabric, the quality. I loved the print. I would have purchased these, but again, they didn't have my size. I needed it small, but I could only grab an extra small. And they were just too difficult to get on. When I put them on, I could hear them like, I could hear the threads like bursting. So um, I did not get these. I tried to look for these online to purchase them, but again, I couldn't find these online. I was so disappointed. But I did find some other bold prints from this brand, Joy Lab, that I will link down below. Also, Joy Lab carries plus sizes, and online they have some really cute styles for plus sizes. In fact, they have some really cute uh, bold leggings for plus size. So I'm going to leave those linked down below for you. But I did really like the quality and the feel and the way that these leggings, um, just the fabric, the fabric was really quality. I could so here I just wanted to show you the jacket with a little bit more detail. I really loved it. I thought this was such a great find. I didn't see that it comes in an extra small. I only saw small, medium, large, and I think it also comes in plus sizes. But I love it. It's so cute. Uh, like I said, the material is really thick and stretchy. I like the hardware on it. The zipper is really cute. Uh, I kind of wish it did come in an extra small and it was a little bit more fitted, but I think the small works. It's just a little long around my arms. You can see that it kind of goes past my wrist, but really like this. Those leggings, you can see these are the high shine leggings. You can see the back. It has that sheer mesh. These I did see online, so I will link these down below for you too, but I really like these as well. Again, if they had a small, I would have been all over it. I just couldn't, I just knew that I couldn't fit into an extra small, so... Okay, this sweatshirt, I believe, was also by Joy Lab. I could not find this online either, but I did find some similar cutout sweaters that I will link down below. This was super comfortable. The inside layer of this was so soft. I loved it. I love the cutout back here. I love the neutral color. The one that I'm linking online comes in a blush color, which I think is probably really cute. These leggings are by Champion, and I love the little cutout kind of stretch detail on the bottom. I couldn't find these online, but I found a lot of really cute similar pairs, so I will link those below. I was pretty disappointed that I couldn't find a lot of these styles online. However, I did find a lot of really cute styles that I did not see in store, so I will link all all of those down below for you as well. These leggings also have a dry technology. For me, that's super important because I get so sweaty in a lot of the classes that I take. I take high intensity cardio classes, so I really need something that's not going to like hold on to moisture all day. So this outfit I really liked. I thought it was very flattering. The leggings were really nice. They were the perfect length. Uh, the color you can see is like this midnight blue. I love how it has that big patch of a lighter blue on top. I wish they were a tiny bit more high-waisted, but they're fine. These were an extra small that I tried on, and again, I really needed a small. So hopefully my Target will stock these up in my size. This is the same tank that I was wearing in the previous clip of the black one that had the back twist. Um, I love this sports bra. Even though I don't wear sports sports bras alone. I do wear shirts like this that kind of show a little peak of the sports bra, so it's fun when you find a cute pattern. I'll have uh, these options or similar ones linked down below, but yeah, I thought this, this was probably one of my favorite outfits altogether. I just thought it was flattering. I love the color. I love the way that it fit. Okay, so switching gears, this top. You might recognize this top. I'm wearing it in this video. I did purchase this top. It was it was like $15. I was blown away. I loved how it has this little line down the center, and I love the front tie. I'm really kind of obsessed with front tie tees. I'm super casual. I need to be comfortable. I need stuff that I can pick up my kids easily and just run around in. And this was $15, and I love stripes. I love black and white. I think that this was a really, really great find. Um, I'm wearing it today with just kind of some skinny, distressed jeans, and I'm actually wearing like 
like a chunky kind of heel by Tom's. So it kind of dressed it up a little bit. This top I tried on, I didn't purchase this top, but I thought it was cute. Again, it has the front tie. The back I like because it's a little bit longer. So I could see myself wearing this in the summer with shorts and cute sandals. I just thought it was a really cute casual kind of twist to like a linen button up shirt. And I liked it, it had some texture to it, which was really nice in this. And I like that the buttons are darker. I kind of like that contrast of the dark buttons and the light white fabric. It's a really good airy piece. I noticed that they're starting to get a lot of styles for spring. Even though I'm not quite feeling spring yet, I do know that it's quickly approaching. So I thought that this would be a great casual top to wear in the spring as we transition into the warmer temperatures. And that wraps up this try on video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, my apologies that a lot of the stuff that I tried on is not gonna be available online. However, I think that the silver lining is that I found a lot of styles that are cute or if not cuter than some of the stuff that I tried on that was not available in store that I will link down below for for you. So I still wanted to share this video with you guys because I think it gives you ideas and kind of shows you how things fit and uh, just kind of lets you know my opinion on these brands and the quality and all of that good stuff. So if you have recommendations for future try on videos, leave them in the comment section below. I'm not sure how soon I will do another Target. I was kind of disappointed that a lot of stuff in my store was not consistent with what was online. And I really like to upload videos where I can link exactly the pieces that I try on for you in the description box. So um, I'm thinking The Loft, Ann Taylor, Banana Republic, J. Crew. Uh, Nordstrom is always a favorite for me, but let me know your thoughts and your requests in the box below. Again, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I hope you do so before you leave. As always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.